Hello and welcome boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, to another Cyber Zero Gaming video. And today, yes, today we're going to be checking out my very first virtual conference, uh, the IAE 2950 Expo. Yes, I, I think that's an awesome time. So as the guy in the elevator here with me, um, we're, we're probably both going to the same place. What's up, bro? Or um, he's going to get a ship and bug out and probably go do some villainous things. I'm just assuming. This is great. It's on Microtech. Um, one of my favorite places to start. So uh, as you can see here, he's beelining it. We'll, we'll only know by his next set of directions where he's going. Um, already, you see the signs, the brand new signs directing you towards where to go for the expo. I like it. It's much akin to um, the signs that you get for like the Boston Marathon or the LA Marathon or any of the events that are special to the city like Mardi Gras. You know, they're, they're timed events. They don't last year round. They're, they're very unique. So you get unique signs, usually uh, year by year, incrementally different. I love this color scheme. Beautiful, very easy, very noticeable. Um, also informative, let you know that the event's gonna go from November 20th through December 2nd. And I'm gonna try to put as much information out there as I can from my perspective as a brand new YouTuber and a brand new or citizen gamer. Um, I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. So a couple things. I'm probably not going to go all in depth on a lot of the ships, uh, looking at different things. I'm mainly, this is my first day. So I want to, Hey, see that guy's got the toy I've been looking for. I saw that and I can't remember where it's at, but I think it's over one of the tables on the other side in the commons by Microtech, uh, other side of Microtech. So we're going to pop it through here and we, we, Take a look at some hats, t-shirts, merch, a Drake, MISC, their color scheme is rocking, that military, like that Crusader blue, yes, all the color schemes are here, yeah, Outlander, I probably missed one back there, but, you know, uh, I'll get on day two, uh, ah, here we have the event merch, I have to pick up one of these, I just do it before, you know, before the time runs out. I like these color schemes of different variations, but they're all t-shirts and hats for the most part. Um, just pop in here, take a look, see what Anvil's color schemes look like with, with Argo also. So yeah, back over here to Anvil. Yeah, oh, there it is. I like the Aegis. The Aegis wear is, is the best. I clearly get that gray and white and dark gray combination thumbs up all right so let's hit the uh the elevator here and get on over to the rest of the expo yeah these elevators are really clean over here i like them i just need some of that very awkward elevator music you know not quite bounce chicka wow wow but not quite burn 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 yeah, we need like some Cisco on hold music. That's the elevator music. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, you know that's a very old track that when you hear it on on hold, if you've been in IT for a while, it takes you back, like way back. So anyway, here we are. So this is kind of like the uh, atrium area. I'm loving the draped over signs and flags going to usher you in towards this upper deck area here. Um, Microtech is awesome with its, you know, very futuristic look with a splash of modern elements like this marble like floor with all these reflections and lights. That's that's beautiful. And you got to give it to Cloud Imperium in the game. Um, the imagery, the shadows, the lighting, it's, it's all real fantastic stuff. So Ah, uh, here we are. The Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Yes. So, so I really like the looks of that Argo little, little baby ship there. I like it. I like it a lot. Don't know how much cargo it'll hold, but it looks like you can definitely strap a mining laser onto that thing and get going. Um, yeah. 
pop inside for a bit. So yeah, it looks like you know a little bit of hey there's that dude with the toy. Hey man. Hey. Yeah, that's a little Yeah. So anyway, this looks like something that uh definitely wouldn't mind adding to the, the fleet line up there. Um 2021 i think i have in my head kind of the i'll say the the arrangement of, of ships that i want to rock and what i mean by that is you know the vehicles and the ships um I, I felt like i've spent enough time i am now two months into the game i really think that the brand new ship that everyone's talking about the the mercury star runner yes I think that is a very nice uh, compromise, and I think it's a it's a better. Mm, I can't really say better ship than the constellation I'm currently flying. Uh, that's kind of like my daily driver, but um, I think it's different. The constellation feels very. Uh, I guess the term is it, it feels like uh, very industrial, right? Got that very big ship, spaceship, rrr, rrr, rrr. you know, especially with the uh, the the VTOL <laughs> engines uh, or boosters right on the side, and I like it. Right, that's one of the things that attracted me to it in the beginning was just the look of the ship. It had that classic spaceship look. Um, the Mercury Star has kind of got like this new J.J. Abrams Star Trek, uh, Star Wars ish vibe to it. Um, I like that too, but just also the inside and, and the different mechanics of what the ships can do i still think my day-to-day -day will be the connie but for the most part um looking at that look looking at adding a mercury um maybe one or two of the fighters the medium-sized fighters the new ones that are out um haven't really decided on them yet um i know there's a mustang here but the Argo Mole, let me, uh, that's definitely a ship that I want to add, this big behemoth here, because I really want to get into mining um, from the surface. And that's a lot easier than, you know, running around in caves and trying to figure out what little pockets are where. Um, rather have a big old planet to do that from, just aim and point, right? So, um, first of all, I'm looking at the mole. So, up here, I'm just going to look around a little bit. Um, not really knowing where I'm going. So, uh, looks like those are storage doors that I just passed. But anyway, I'm going to go up here, uh, take a look around. Yeah. This ship is huge. Already I'm trapped. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, just want to oh you know what i like that lighting transition that is very nice that's a very nice transition from dark to very bright very well lit um and again like the lighting now I, I like this color scheme this this kind of powder baby blue next to the argo orange looks awesome you know well put together so uh let's see oh the flight deck you know I really wish the Constellation had this type of visibility. I, I like the Constellation, but I really hate that little, you know, that segmented metal frame look that you get going on in the cockpit. So one thing they definitely need to add, um, sunscreens. They need to add those really quick because I can't tell you, it's almost daily that I'm playing the game and I run into a situation where um the horizon <laughs> and again you have to comp you you could complain about this in a game that's so realistic right but usually like uh if you're on one of the moons and you're going over and there's a you know you, you're getting a glimpse of the sun there's glares and you can't even read instrument panels in some cases because the glare is so bad so anyway um yes i like the argo mole now i know that i'm probably missing the, the cargo areas they're probably massive 
Uh, but here, looks, this, is, this looks like the crew quarters. It looks like we got one, two, three showers. Hopefully this is a shower. Or maybe this is a shower. Those are restrooms. Um, yeah, not sure. My goal here was just to check out the bowl. So it looks like we can sleep for crew members comfortably. Yeah. So I think it's time for me to exit the mole. But yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Um, really looking for what it can do cargo capacity wise and mining wise. You know, that's, those are my, my big ones. So um, also I see that you can operate the mining laser from the bottom like a turret bay. And I'm wondering now in my head, does that mean you need a pilot to kind of hover you away from everything while you're mining? Maybe you can do them both. I'll have to look that up. But so on the lower level here, you know, we're already looking at one of the buggies that I currently own. Um, it's an awesome little, little ride. I like it. Now, what I, I really like are these Expo kind of, you are here, navigation, mall-like screens. Uh, and it's perfect because, you know, it's, it's a great little touch. Um, so this is something else that I want to purchase for 2021 is the ROC here. I want to get one of these for mining as well. So I think that'll round me out. So. Um, now again, here's my problem. Can I stuff one of these in an Argo mole, stuff it with cargo, or put it back in the ship and then still use the more, you know, the, the overflow capacity, you know, for other things, right? That's the real question. Um, because at that rate, you know, if I'm looking at getting an ROC, then I can just park that in the back of Constellation, you know, because you're not really going to fill up uh, the whole of Constellation or Argo Mole with making your own boxes of ore, right? You know, that's thing you could do, but, you know, risking, again, the dreaded, you know, 30K, you don't want to do that. So, again, love that whole Expo Center, you are here, map. It's great. It's a great detail. IAE 2950. So, yeah, so here are the Mustangs. We talked about maybe adding a couple ships. Um, I'm definitely interested in getting a, another fighter or upgrading, heavily upgrading the Anvil Hornet that I currently have because apparently you can max that thing out and do all kind of damage. So I, I definitely, for 2021, need to learn how to defend myself and um, dogfight a, a lot better, as well as uh, first person shooting, you know, defensive stance, you know, how not to get just totally waylaid. Um, but anyway, the maneuverability of the fighters is something that, that I've been looking at lately as well, because I need something that's I guess a good fit for me would be something that's a little bit more maneuverable than a snub fighter, but still packs the punch of a medium fighter. I think that would be, you know, a good combination. Speed is always king. Ah, and the creme de la creme for day one, the Nomad. I, you know, I like the design of the ship. I do. I like the hard angles. It's very stealth fighter. -ish. To me, that's the first vibe that I got from it. Um, I know that some people thought it was going to be something more than what it is. Um, but for the most part, I think it'll be a great starter ship for a lot of folks. Um, again, it's, it, it's an El Camino. I have to say that. And I know I'm not the first to say that. Um, I'm probably, I, I just figured that on the internet and in life in general, you know, when I get an idea, it's not an original idea because it's original to me, but probably somebody beat me to the punch. Um, you know. But the bottom line is uh, these things are needed. You know, I started off with the Constellation Andromeda package uh, for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, 
uh, these games are, I guess, a different path than the starter fighters, you know, in those packages. But um, can't wait to see what they do with the Nomad. You know, as far as, you know, its role in the game and seeing how people use it, seeing how it can be outfitted, um, might take it for a spin. We've got a lot of time to look through a lot of ships, but um, for the most part, I am I'm just digging this whole expo thing. You know, again, it's like uh, the LA Auto Show, just with more space because they're ships. I get it. Okay, so not really gonna go inside of it or, or look too much more. Um, gonna move on. So I think that's probably I'm getting close to the end for day one here. If not the end. I think this is a great expo hall. I think they put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, Microtex materials make this perfect. Uh, very reminiscent of, you know, those very grand convention centers. Mandalay Bay, you know, and other like convention center areas. Um, but like this lighting and this of nature scape that they have going on that's very very solid you know makes this whole thing look very very real so but it's been a pretty good day one so i uh definitely dig digging the iae 2950 and all its exhibit halls uh, the the three that were the, the main hall and the two side halls so uh, i want to thank you so much for watching if you like my content, please leave me some feedback. Um, thumbs up is well appreciated. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to push out these, you know, more quantity wise than schedule wise, if that makes sense. So when I can, you know, release two or three videos.